Hey there guys, OGM here, welcome you to the bonus episode of Banjo-Kazooie. So guys, in the last episode, we defeated Gruntilda, we did it together. The craziness happened, but did you know that that was the first half of the game? Did you know that there's a whole second half of this game that had to get cut because of time restraints? Well if not, this episode is right for you. Guys, welcome to the bonus episode, we're going to be talking about crazy intros, to a whole entire hit in the game, a glitch, and then the whole entire second half of the game that got cut. Guys, it's time. Come with me on this journey. We're going to do a thing. You're going to sit there. You're going to enjoy, I hope. And I'm going to be here. Probably failing at speaking, but you know, that's normal for me. So guys, I hope you enjoy. Let's do it. So first off, let's start with the intros. We're going to do the regular intros, and then we're going to do the special intros. It's worth noting, for all of these intros, do you see that little fish in the background? If not, when we get to the second one, you guys should see it. However, that little fish in the background, every time that it clinks, it does three clinks. On the third clink of its glass is when you need to hit activate, and then your special intro will happen. It's a little difficult to do, especially on the third save file, because you can't see the fish. So, I suggest that you just do the third one fast, like I did, and you guys will hopefully get what you need to do. I mean, these aren't necessary, they're just a fun little side thing, so enjoy it, do with it as you do so see fit. Alright guys, so here we are, we are now in Mumbo's hut, and as you guys can see, Mumbo has a special T-Rex that can crush the witch easily. Well, lo and behold, of course, Mumbo being Mumbo, he doesn't turn it into a, right? Change mind, T-Rex spell too good for this game. Mumbo keep for next game. Yeah guys, Mumbo's a troll, what do you know, right? So with that, you now have another hint that Banjo-Tooie is in the making. Alright guys, so here we are in the Furnace of Fun. So you guys may remember this death platform from the actual Let's Play. It was the very first one that we came across, right? So now this is actually going to be the start of the glitch. Here with the exact same death platform, except we are now going to be taking it on a different way. So, I'm going to go ahead and take you back to the very beginning of the maze, or I guess obstacle course, maybe, if that's what you want to call it. But as you guys remember, from the Let's Play, we went to the left, but now we went to the right. Or, we're going to the right, rather. So, we're going to go ahead and just go back up to where we were, that way we can actually activate this glitch. So, here we are back at the death platform. Now, it's worth noting, in order to activate this glitch, you must get the question wrong. I know it's a death platform and you're probably scared of death, but don't worry, it's okay, I promise. You have to get the question wrong, you won't die. It's the glitch, it works beautifully. The way this glitch is actually activated is that you have to approach it from the very tippy top right hand corner, and you can't go actually on the platform, it's just the very tippy top. Now, because I'm getting this question wrong, I didn't read it, I'm just going to pick Woolly Mammoths because I don't remember anything about the game with Woolly Mammoths. There we go, go. There we go, go. There we go, guys. My bad. Obviously, words are not my friend, like always. But now we can walk around the whole entire map without actually taking any question on. It's a kind of a speedrunning technique, I guess, if that's what you guys want to call it. I don't know if it's actually faster. I've seen a couple people use it. Others, not so much. But go ahead and do with it as you do so see fit. You can actually go ahead and just pass the whole maze and just go directly up to Gruntilda's lair. It's a way to completely break the game, but it works beautifully, so I will meet you now in the next area. Alright guys, so here we are. We just defeated Gruntilda for the second time now. Now it's worth noting for all of you guys that are still around, probably like the 10 of you that are still watching because of just how crazy this episode is with all the cuts. Uh, guys, this is where the second part of the game was supposed to start, right there with that explosion. Now do you guys remember from the whole entire intro where Tootie comes out and a frog is jumping by? Believe it or not, that frog is actually Banjo. Now, 
What does that mean? That spell actually was not meant to kill you. It was actually supposed to start the second half of the game when Tootie's now free to walk around and everything. Well, what we were supposed to do now is we're supposed to go ahead and play as Tootie and go and save Banjo from the froggy doom that was his now, I guess, life. Yes, guys. You get to play as both the damsel in distress as well as the hero in the original, I guess, take is what you want to call it, of Banjo-Kazooie. Guys, this game had so much potential, and unfortunately just had to get cut due to time restraints. But I hope you guys can enjoy the game for what it is. I've got one more thing to show you, and it's probably one of the craziest... No, it is the craziest thing in the whole game. And I'm actually going to turn it over to my actual stuff that recorded the game because if you guys can't notice this all post so without further ado everyone let's get to the very last glitch or I guess achievement not even glitch but just yeah achievement is what we'll call it the very last achievement that you can get in this game and I'll turn it over now to my current recording self so here we are home sweet home it's been forever since we've been home but guys there's actually a bonus you can do here only after you beat the game. So not only can you glitch out like the very end of the game, you can also come back here after you beat the witch. So, I mean, look at this. We got a picture of uh, all of our adventures. I mean, look, we got some uh, nice little beach pictures from our little beach vacation before we beat the witch and after. I mean, why not, right? Then we got, uh, we got us over here. We got our little short-sighted mole bottles. We got a little pet fishy. We got 2D, and we got the bed that threw us out. We've got the wall that we know that goes ahead and puts you back in nowhere's land. And we have my beautiful chair that will launch us into the sky. However, did you guys know that if you look at bottles here, there's something special that can happen? Yes, guys, there's actually a whole nother part of this game with transformations and everything. Hello, bottles. I see you there, sir. How are you today? Yes, guys, here we go. The Secret Moving Picture Game. Now, if you guys have ever played Banjo-Tooie, then you know already what this is all about. However, if you've never played Banjo-Tooie, and this is your very first experience with the moving puzzle, do not worry, they're pretty simple. So, as you guys may or may not know, I mean, a puzzle's a puzzle. You have to put it together. However, the unique thing about Banjo-Kazooie is that the puzzle moves, and so it can really help you out. So, like, let's say that you don't know where a piece goes, it's pretty simple, you guys can just follow up and line up the picture, which I just failed to do. Now, it's worth noting, guys, it is very difficult, actually, like, the control stick's very sensitive. So, if, like, oh my gosh, again. If you guys are trying to be, like, extremely careful with it, then you actually may end up failing. Also, as you guys can see, I'm doing terrible right now because I'm trying to commentate and focus on a puzzle. Uh, it's worth noting, I will not be showing these all off. I'm just going to be showing this first one. Then I'm going to be cutting to the reward for each and every one. Yes, there is more than one, and each one gets better than the last. So you guys can all look forward to that. But uh, like I said, guys, I'm very sorry if that disappoints you that I'm not going to be showing them all off. They get a lot harder and a lot faster. Uh, like I said, just know that I'll be cutting to each and every ending so you guys can see all that. But uh, this first one's easy enough for me to commentate over as well as, like, worry about a very uh, loosely moving control stick. It's a lot easier to do on the N64 version if you guys don't know this. There we go, we did it. Uh, so here you go, we win. Yay. Go use the sandcastle floor. Once again, we're going back to Treasure Throve Cove. And we get Big Bottle Bonus 1. And yes, Bottle Bonus 1. But here we go, guys. Let the games begin. Number two, here we go. Bottles, talk to me once again, sir. And guys, I will see you at the end of this puzzle. And there we go. That makes two. And I mean, look at this. We're in the sad little bear's house. That's so sad. All right, Bottles, we can go for level three, sir. Oh, 
Alright guys, so as you can see, things are going to start getting a little weird here. As you guys can see now, we can begin rotating pieces. Yes, it gets really bad really fast. So, I'm very sorry to all of you guys that suck at puzzles, because if you want all the bonus- Oh my gosh, this piece, it will not go where it goes, thank you. If you guys really want everything, you guys are going to have to be super diligent at these puzzles, because they get ridiculous. Like I said, it helps that the pictures move, but at the same time, it gets terrible, because... As you guys can see, again, the control stick is not the most accurate thing, plus a timer, which adds to even more stress. So be careful, everyone, if you're doing this. Again, these are not required. These are completely optional for a big, big bottles bonus. Uh, I definitely suggest doing it if you guys want to have something really neat happen at the end, but it's not required, so don't worry, everyone. Plus, I mean, you guys get to see it with me here, so it's not like, oh my gosh, I'll never get to see it. Don't worry, I promise you guys that by the end of this, either I will go insane, which probably will happen anyway, or you guys can see this. So, uh, you know what, I've already talked over so much of this, I might as well just continue to talk over it anyway. Uh, we will see how well I can do this piece. Also, it's worth noting, I kind of suck at this puzzle right now. Maybe because of all the, like, the blue and green, or er, green? No, I said green because I'm looking at the troll right now. The, uh, the blue and the white because of the captain's quarters. But I've done it with 13 seconds remaining. Well, not remaining, but you know what I mean. 10 seconds remaining, 13 seconds before I looked at the clock, rather. It's fine, whatever. I did a thing. Alright, Bottles, that one was actually kind of difficult because I had to talk over it. I will give you that, sir. Here we go, level 4, guys. I will see you at the end. Holy crap, I just want to put it out there, how much easier that was when I wasn't talking. My gosh! Alright, so big bottle bonus four, sir. We, we have done it. Level five is waiting for you. Sir, level five, it's my lucky number. I can do this with my eyes closed. Actually, I'm not going to do that because that would be ridiculous. You know, I just want to point this out. These puzzles were so much harder when I was talking, for one thing, but I was, like, not able to do these at all when I was a little kid. Like, whatsoever. I was able to do them eventually, but I had to wait till I was, like, in... I don't even remember. I was, like, sixth grade before I could ever, like, do the first three. I kind of sucked as a kid, I'll admit it. I actually had to have my uncle and my mom come and help me do all of these in Banjo Tui. So, it's fine, whatever. Let's get on with, I think, bonus six? Maybe six. Alright guys, so you may have begun noticing that either I'm slowing down or time's getting shorter. Well, guess what? It's probably a little bit of both. This t puzzle actually took me a lot longer than it normally does. I mean, as you guys know, I normally finish with 30 seconds. I only had 15 left. But it's also worth noting that everything begins shortening. So that's a thing. And Bottle says that he's got no games left for me to play now. Well, guys, believe it or not, Bottles is a dirty, dirty liar, actually. Let's go, Bottles. I'm ready for you. I am ready for you to give me your last big bottle bonus, and I shall show off the world what all of your other bonuses have. Let's go. Now, I'm not going to talk over this one, but I will definitely show it off, that way you guys can all see it. But I feel like, besides the fact that I just screwed up that one piece so many different times right there, I feel like this puzzle has... Oh my gosh, really? Pick it up. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Control stick. Why are you doing this to me right now? And when I say control stick, I mean like myself, basically. I'm doing terrible. Uh, anyway, let me see if I can actually get the sentence out without getting distracted. Uh, it feels like this puzzle has more pieces. Maybe it's because it's like the camera's maybe zoomed out a little bit more. But I just, I don't know. I feel like this puzzle has more pieces for some reason. And I do not feel comfortable with this at all. Because, well, I, I just don't. It's fine. Whatever.
Oh crud, I'm not gonna pass it this time. I've only got 14 seconds left, I just looked over. It's that it was because of that first piece, I guarantee it. Go in, thank you. <sighs> so many sads. So many sads. At least you guys got to see my first fail on camera. It's fine. Alright guys, I'm not going to talk over the second one. I did start talking over the first one. It's fine. Let's go, bottles. Out of here, sir! I have beaten you. Get out of my life. You are done, sir. Wishy washy banjo. I have done it, everyone. Oh man! Whew. My hands actually started to sweat. I'm not gonna lie. Holy crap! That took forever. All right, guys. So now that we've done all that, oh my gosh! Whew. All right. We are now actually going to go back to Treasure Thove Cove, everyone. And we will do a special thing there. What that special thing is, you guys will see when we get there. For me, it's going to take a few minutes. You guys, congratulations, you have jump cuts. I will see you guys then. Leaky, drain the water for me so I can go ahead and uh, do all kinds of magical things here with you, sir. I'm going to go kill Big Brother Crab. I'm just, I don't care what anyone says. This is what this crab will be named forever. Big Brother Crab. Alright guys, so... Big Bottle Bonus, everyone. There is 1 through 5, then you get Big Bottle Bonus. Then we have Wishy Washy Banjo, which we got from the secret quote-unquote one. And then we have No Bonus. Whenever we want to just put in No Bonus, we turn back to normal. But guys, I will show you each and every one starting out with big bottle bonus one so here we go b o t t l e s b o n Uh, you. You. S. O. N. E. Alright, guys. So, all the bonuses has something ridiculous. Guys, this one is a gigantic headed banjo. Uh, it's worth noting, your hitbox and or nothing gets, like, destroyed or anything. It's just our head's ridiculously big. Uh, also... As Bottles just said, you can change Banjo back with the no bonus, as I already said. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, I'll show off no bonus as well, just to show you what happens. But guys, it's worth noting, these cannot be accessed until you actually achieve them all. So it's like, oh, I'm just going to use... Oh, I can't spell bonus. I'm just going to use OGM's little guide here. No, you guys can't actually do that. You have to actually earn them in order to have them be returned. Uh, it's also worth noting... Again, like the whole entire blue eggs, red feathers, gold feathers, and then the original stop and swap codes, if you guys are playing on the N64, these will not affect your game, they will not corrupt it or anything, I promise you these are legitimate codes, you have to just earn them from bottles. So guys, I will now get Big Bottle Bonus 2, and I will see you when I actually achieve it. Alright guys, so here we go. Big Bottle Bonus 2 gives us large hands and feet. We don't have the little, or we don't have the big head. I was going to say we don't have the little head. Uh, no, we don't have a big head or anything. It's just ridiculously big hands and feet. There's our roll. There's a nice little scratch attack. I wish it would look as fun. Oh, it kind of does look as funny. I was going to say, I wish it looked as funny as the big head. But that actually kind of does look funny. But uh, let's go ahead and go back. That way you guys can see what happens with uh, Bonus 3. Woo! 
Alright guys, so here we go, big bottle bonus 3. So you guys may be wondering, well what happened? You guys may have actually seen it, but in case you didn't... GIGANTIC KAZOOIE ATTACK! Yes guys, we now have a gigantic head and wings kazooie. Uh, it also looks ridiculous when you ever you do this. Uh, actually, I've never done a flying animation. Let's see what it looks like when you fly. This should be really funny. I'm actually kind of looking forward to this. This should actually be super funny. I can't believe I've never thought of this until just now, but it's fine. Whatever. We're going to make it work. Really? Really crab? There will be none of this, sir. We don't want your attack here. I am a man on a mission with a gigantic bird in my backpack. He may have been stung by bees and probably has some ridiculous uh, swelling. But it's fine. I don't care. Oh my gosh, look, at this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. What the heck? I like it. We're a gigantic, like, almost like, dinosaur bird flying around. Like, that's how big we are. We're almost as big as a pterodactyl. And yes, I did say pterodactyl. That's right. Sue me. I don't care. No, actually, I remember back in the day, I used to, like, hate people that would, like, always pronounce stupid, uh, it's like, stupid stuff like that, like, uh... Like, a knife and, uh, just, just stuff like that. Pterodactyl, knife. It's like, you know what? No, we, we all can do our own things. Uh, there's no reason for me to get mad at that. And so, I've just, I've let it go. I used to actually have that just stupid annoyance. But it's okay, I've grown up. But enough about me. Let's go ahead and get, uh, the bottle bonus four. I will see you guys when, uh, we get there. Alright guys, so here we go, big bottle bonus four, we have a small head and a long torso. We're almost like a sausage. Uh, yeah. L look at us bent over, like, normally like, we could crouch, right? We can't even crouch now, this is ridiculous. Look at our side, like, do you see how it, like, cons caves in? Oh my, this is, this is the thing, everyone. All hail the sausage, Banjo! I wonder, like, how it looks when you actually... Oh my gosh, he doesn't even get in the air. It's just like almost his head's in the ground. Wow, that's ridiculous. It's fine, whatever. No bonus, save the day, please. Get rid of Sausage Banjo. We don't need this. Back to our normal fat self. However, that sausage probably looked a lot like me. Tall and skinny. Alright guys, so here we go, big bottle bonus 5, we now have a gigantic feet, a gigantic feet, no, some gigantic feet, some gigantic hands, a small head, and the sausage body. Yeah, you thought you got rid of the sausage body? No, I, I couldn't do that. Big body, or big extremities, small body, this looks like a clown for sure. Yeah, I, I don't even know. Just l just let that sink in. This looks absolutely ridiculous, but whatever. Uh, enjoy it, maybe, if that's your thing. But uh, it's definitely not my thing. So, you know, whatever. Alright guys, and here we go, big bottle bonus, we get a big head, big feet, big hands, and finally, big kazooie. Yes guys, big bottle bonus, it is probably the most effective one. I wish we would have like the elongated body too, unfortunately though, they didn't give us that. But it's fine, whatever, we... I don't, I don't even know, I was gonna say we look beautiful, and I was like, no, I can't even say it, because we don't. But yes, guys, maybe Big Bottle Bonus is your thing, but uh, in case it's not, don't worry. Wishy-washy banjo, it gets even better than this. So I will see you guys when we activate Wishy-washy banjo. Oh, come 
All right, guys, here we go. Wishy Washy Banjo. Now, it's worth noting, Wishy Washy Banjo has all the same attacks as regular Banjo and Kazooie. As you guys can see, there's that. We get to fart out our eggs. We even can fly. However, as Mumbo did say himself, it's not the most effective thing in the world. So uh, be very careful when using this. However, to end this episode off, everyone, I just have to show some crazy things, such as a washing machine just like ground pounding a crab. I mean, what the heck? Uh, let's see. Do we have any Wonder Wings left? Oh my gosh, we do. All right, so here's Wonder Wing. Here's the Talon Trot. Oh man, let, let's see a washing machine swim. This is ridiculous. Oh my. Check it out. In the hole we go. It's a beautiful thing. And, and you know what? Just because we can, let's go ahead and pick up some treasure. And we'll just run away with some treasure. Now just let me aim out. Oh my gosh, it's so much harder to like aim yourself because you're so boxy. Whatever. Let me let me down and let me out of here. I wish like you had no air, but I mean, it's fine. So the last thing, guys, I have to show you here with Wishy Washy Banjo is I have to show you guys the probably the funniest part of Wishy Washy Banjo. And it's not this, but I thought that you guys would enjoy this. Just a gigantic flying washing machine. No, guys, the best part of Wishy Washy Banjo. I'm sure several of you are thinking of it right away. But guys, the part that I need to show you is a washing machine flying. Yes, guys, not only did Mumbo say you can't do everything, but there are some things you can do. The best thing that you can do is fly as a washing machine. Guys, here we go, everyone. A flying washing machine. Guys, thank you all so much for coming on this journey with me through Banjo-Kazooie, my favorite video game of all time. If you guys like what you saw, please hit that like button. I really love this series, and I hope you guys did as well. But if you guys like what you saw, then like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, just, just let this sink in. A flying washing machine. This is a beautiful day. But guys, until next time, OGM, signing out.